Tiger, it's really cool. There it is. Let me grab my water while I play with that. <laughs> he like roughly <laughs> Can you clip me back on? <laughs> Got a little too hype. I'm sorry. Let me get myself back together. All right. All right, let's do this. All right, thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate you coming out to support. Um, Dev Mountain is in the house strong. My mentor and instructor is actually here. Uh, so, yeah, this is crazy actually being able to now teach you all um, a little bit of what I've been going through and what I learned. Um, so let me go ahead and pull this up so we can get this started. Um, I'm going to be talking about my experience uh, with my web development internship at Call em All. And I just think it's really important because this has been a really great experience and opportunity for me to get some real world experience. So I just kind of want to talk about it because I know a lot of us were really looking at working full time, but I really want to talk about the benefits of an internship, why that may be something you want to consider. And I'll also dive into a little bit of technical stuff, some of our code, uh, some of the behavioral things that call them all because it's a, it's a different atmosphere and it's a, a place I love being. So we're going to dive into that. I'll answer any questions that you have, uh, if we could get this thing going. So my name is Joe Warren. You may know me as Mighty Joe W online on Twitter, GitHub. Uh, medium, Mighty Joe W. And just a little bit about my story. Uh, I'm a career changer like many, many people here. And this is kind of the path that I took kind of self-teaching, going through free code camp, uh, and then going to Dev Mountain, and then coming out of Dev Mountain and be able to get an opportunity with Call Em All. How is my volume? Can, can you hear me? Anybody having trouble? All right. I'm sorry? Yes, but this is going to the camera. We, there's not a system in here. So I'll try to project a little bit better. Let me know if I'm hollering too much. Don't want to make it uncomfortable. All right, so an overview. Why to consider an internship? So like I was saying, this is going to bridge the gap between whether you're in school or you're self-training and actually landing a great job or a great career because you have on-the-job training. Um, you're going to be learning from professionals in a professional environment. And I'm going to dive into some of the really good benefits of, as, as far as you not being thrown right into the fire. You actually have time to learn from people, ask questions, and develop yourself before you're really in that um, environment where you have deadlines and everything to worry about. So I've got some stats for you. 13% more likely to find full-time employment from going through uh, an internship. And this is from the National Association of Colleges and Employers. Um, your 60% 60 60 of paid internships turn into a job. And actually, three of the current employees that call them all started off at, as interns. So I'm seeing firsthand that this is something that could turn into an opportunity. So professional development, uh, I'll read some of this if it's too hard to read. You're going to learn industry standards. There are a lot of things when you're going through school or class that you're just not going to learn that actual professionals are doing. A lot of the learning you may be focused on some of the technical parts of some of the code, but it's different actually seeing how people interact, how they're interacting with each other on GitHub and, and meetings and everything like that. It's, it's a different animal, so it's cool for me to be able to jump in and see how these people are interacting. Uh, being able to experience the software development cycle and learning some new team-based Git commands, that's something like I had never really had to use uh, Git rebase or Git stash, Git fetch. Some of these things I didn't really have to use on my personal project, but seeing other people using it or if I did something wrong, Mike would let me know and I'll go back and he'll show me what I need to do. I was just asking him stuff about Git yesterday and I, yeah, I'm going to have to get with you again because I didn't quite get all of that, but uh, <laughs> I, he's fast, man. He's whew, try to keep up with him. And then high, higher reported levels of happiness because you have an opportunity to try out an industry and specifically a company before making a long-term commitment. Like, wouldn't really want to marry somebody after just dating them or talking to them on the phone one time. That's kind of similar to what you're getting into with an interview, but here I'm able to actually see them every single day how they actually are. And the same for me. They're kind of long-term interview on me as well to see what I'm like on a daily basis. So this kind of leads to more happiness since you do get to experience um, the company. So the job hunt, I just want to kind of, for, I forgot to poll the class, so how many people are in boot camps or thinking about boot camps right now? 
All right, do we have any CS students or CS grads? All right, and then anybody that's just self-teaching right now? All right, and anybody looking for a job right now? All right, cool, so this will be relevant. All right, so I thought this would be bigger. Uh, feel free to take a picture if you can see this. A lot of these things you already know and probably have already been told, but I was able to talk to some of the engineers and they told me specifically what they're looking for when they get resumes that come in. Um, so they are actually looking at your GitHub. I know that's like something you guys always told us, your GitHub, portfolio, LinkedIn, and I could see them and hear them when they're actually getting these people in, like, and Mike is looking through these. They're looking at this stuff. The guy that hired me actually mentioned my blog, my Medium articles. So the things that people talk about is true. This team actually is looking at all this stuff. They really do care. So, I mean, you're, you're coming to meet up, so that's good. Continue to network. Um, network on LinkedIn. If you can go to a hackathon, that's a good opportunity. And um, include an internship in your job search. That's something I just wasn't thinking to search for. I was just, you know, front-end development, web development. But if you put an internship, you'll see there are a lot of them out there. So that may be a route that you want to go to. All right, so this is just a little piece of advice that I wanted to give. If you have been on the job hunt kind of train, you're probably gonna get a bunch of emails that look like this, that has all these cities that you never said you wanted to work in. You got this yellow highlighting, it always has this yellow highlighting, and then eight years of experience. I don't have eight years of experience, and it's always like a language that you've never said that you use at all before. So I kind of suggest getting a Google phone number at voice.google.com so that the calls that are coming in will not be going to your phone because it's hard to get the recruiter calls to stop, especially when they're completely irrelevant to what you're trying to do. Piece of advice, it could get really annoying. Uh, same thing with an email, you may want to consider getting a separate email or putting a filter or something on your email because, yeah, it's, it's pretty relentless. Uh, people that have been through that know what I'm talking about. So every decision that you make each day will directly influence your future. And this is so important because I want to tell you how I wound up standing in this place today. So last summer, I knew that I really wanted to make this uh, career transition and I thought Frisco would be an area that I really wanted to work in. So I told myself, I got to start going to meetups in the Frisco area, doing as much as I can in that area to meet people in the tech community. So one of the meetups was at eight in the morning and that was early to me at that time. I get up a lot earlier now, but that was early and I was like, I don't know if I really feel like going. It wasn't that many people that were uh, RSVP to it. It was a Frisco Open Coffee Club. But I said, you know what, I really want this. Skip it, I don't care how I feel, I'm gonna do it. So I go, to the, I go there, I get in there. It's just a few people at a round table they don't look like me, uh, a different age range. And I'm like, man, let's just do it. So I sit down. So we go around the table, everybody introduces themselves. And the last person that introduces himself says, hey, my name is Mike and I work at Call em All. I said, cause the day before I just applied to the Call em All internship, this is last summer. So the whole time, I, can't, I don't know if I ever told you this, I couldn't focus the whole time because I'm thinking, I gotta talk to that man. So I'm just waiting for this thing to end. Like, I don't even know what they talked about. I think cryptocurrency or something. So he gets up and he starts to walk out before it ends. I'm like, oh no. So I kind of got up, trying not to be creepy. And I'm just kind of speed walking like, let me just say hi. So I introduced myself. Mike is so cool. Anybody that's talked to him though, he'll talk to anybody. We started talking about music, Snarky Puppy, one of our favorite bands, all kinds of stuff. And I just kind of told him what I was trying to do. And he told me his story that he went to a boot camp and he kind of explained what that experience was like and he explained how he got to call them all. And he was saying, usually they only uh, hire CS grads, but he's saying go for it anyway. So, you know, so I had applied for that. I didn't get it at the time, but I still went for it. But because I went to that meetup, that started a relationship rapport between us. I continued to go to the React JS meetups and keep in touch with them, uh, comment on stuff that he put on Twitter. And we had this rapport that we had built. So when I was coming out of Dev Mountain, I finished in January, they were posting again. And I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna go for it again, even though I applied and didn't get it, I'm gonna go for it again. So I don't know, only he could tell you what all got me into Call Em All, but I do know that it had something to do with us, me at least, 
knowing somebody personally on the inside and him knowing that I was really passionate about this and this is, you know, I'm consistent, passionate, really wanted it. So just think about when you do see an opportunity, you've got to light that fire and try to do things that nobody else is doing. And that's what led to me writing articles. I wanted to separate myself and raise my visibility. So just always keep that in mind because it's hard out here. Anybody that's been through this job hunt knows it's hard out here. So just a little bit uh, for you to take home with you. So the interview process, just briefly, this is simple and basic, but if you're sending the code and challenge, actually do it one and do it yourself. Um, you can't cheat the system. Again, I had one of the call them all engineers um, come to talk to me about this and he was saying that it's very easy to get caught and it leaves a bad first impression on the engineer team because if your code is fantastic on the challenge and then you come in and you can't match that on anything that you do, you pretty much screwed yourself. So it's just important to try to do it yourself. Try to be honest when you're going about this. If, it, if they have a written interview, um, it's important to research the company and call them all is very big on culture. Like they're really big on culture. And they, this is a part of the manifesto that's on their website. So I made sure to read through as much as possible, look through their uh, Facebook pictures to kind of see how they interact and how they think so that I could be authentic but, and tell my story, but also include things that I know that they're passionate about and they care about. So it's really, if it's a place that you really want to work at, you know, take the extra time to do some research uh, to see what they're about. So on the internship, now I want to talk about being at Call em All. So a very important thing is to be professional because you are a professional and you want your peers to look at you as somebody that they will want to work with as a professional in the future. So, so this is what I kind of pictured coming in to Call em All, have people you know, looking at papers and stuff, maybe having some nice light conversations. So it's important to be professional, but also you may walk into something that looks like this. So these are people I actually work with. Um, if you want to know the story with that, you're going to have to find us. That's been really big because I can kind of see other people's style or the team's style of how they do comments and just how they code as well. And then uh, just starting small, man, taking baby steps, being okay with where I'm at, you know, understanding that and just being hungry to grow. And, and that's, again, coming back to internships, that's why it's so great because they all understand that you're there to learn, you know, so, and they want to teach you. So again, this is just kind of comparing, this was my biggest project at Dev Mountain. We had 342 commits and I came into Call Em All and the app that I was working on had over 12,000 commits. So you can imagine that there were a ton of files everywhere, just files and folders everywhere. And looking at it all as one, it was kind of overwhelming. And again, just had to take a step back, ask questions, and you know, take those baby steps. And there's some legacy code in there too that was, was confusing. We were trying to work through something today. So for, for really anything in life, be ready for continuous learning. Be prepared to embrace and learn new things. For example, I thought I was cool with Redux and I came in and they have it set up completely differently. This really tripped me up. They don't use switch statements and um, the guy that, the guy, okay, so the man that wrote Material UI, I'll tell a quick story. Uh, he's the guy that interviewed me on a phone interview and I, I asked him when he, when he asked if I had any questions, he was like, uh, or I was like, <laughs> uh, I know you guys worked on Material UI, can you tell me anything about that? Are you still active with Material UI? And he pretty much was like, yeah, well, so I wrote Material UI, I, I wrote most of it out, and I'm sitting there, like, I'm feeling like this is a superstar now, I'm like, man, I'm talking to the man who wrote Material UI. So anyway, this guy is really smart, this, he's, a, he's really, really, really sharp. Um, so he set up Redux and a lot of other things in a way that I had never seen. So that was, that's been kind of frustrating trying to wrap my head around just a completely different way of doing things, but it's a part of the process. We're gonna be learning forever, so just be ready to embrace um, new ways of doing things. And then the same deal, Mike kind of talked about Material UI V1. I had been using V0 and I thought, cool, I know how to use Material UI. He's like, hey, we use V1 as well. I was like, huh? So then I looked at the top of the page and see you could click on the link and boom, there's uh, version one, which is a little bit different. So again, coming in with two things right off the bat that was different than what I had learned, but a part of the process. And since I'm an intern, 
they expect me to be able to take my time and learn. So we talking about practice. I don't know if anybody gets that reference, but I wanted to use an Allen Iverson gift somewhere. And this is what I've been talking about, um, the luxury of time to practice. I don't, there's not pressure on me to be able to deliver and hit hard deadlines when I'm uh, an intern. So then external benefits, this was a really big thing that I really liked about Call Em All as well. Like I wanted to be active in the community. You know, I'm, I'm standing right here today. They, gave me this opportunity to speak. Uh, we do Frisco Code or Dojo every other Saturday where we're providing kids with an opportunity to learn how to code. That's something I'm very passionate about, uh, helping kids to think outside the box with, with careers and different things that they can do. So that's something I really care about. And we do a lot of events as well. We have a co-ed softball team that's starting this uh, summer. We're going to see the new Star Wars uh, later this month. So, so just a really good atmosphere. Um, and you build value, valuable career connects and contact through the coworkers too. That's very important. So then I wanna answer a few specific questions to call them all and then open the floor if you have any questions for me. So is it paid? Yes, it is paid, although all internships are not paid. So that's something to just look into and ask ahead of time. But if you were thinking, oh, I don't wanna do all this for free, a lot of, especially the good places will pay you. Um, benefits, specifically at Call em All, the benefits are reserved for the full-time employees, so that's just something to keep in mind and another thing to ask. Is my code pushed to production? Yes, it is. I've had my code reviewed and pushed to production. I was happy the first time it happened and I felt official. It was a very great feeling, but yes, at Call em All, you're actually, you're contributing and then you can see your code on the website, so that's a great feeling. Getting acclimated, there's a week long onboarding process and I was really, I was tripping. I was freaking out a little bit the days leading up to it because it's that kind of, oh shoot, this is real moment. Like, what all am I gonna have to know how to do? So I'm trying to do all, all of this learning and building. But no, they, they brought me in. It's a week long of, they gave me a package so I can learn about the company culture, the history, meet all of the employees. Um, they gave me a couple of books I could read through. I have a mentor, I have weekly check-ins, uh, access to all the engineers. So again, these are things I can't speak on a lot of other jobs or other places, but at least at this internship, things you have access to that you may not have access to working full time. Free food, we got a fully stocked kitchen and weekly catering. And I know, uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, ping pong. <laughs> Yes, uh, and we also have a mini basketball hoop. I get buckets, uh, so we have a good time. Uh, so, so that's it. I really want to provide an opportunity. If you have any questions and we have time, go ahead and ask questions, and then whenever we have to move on, we can talk afterwards. Go ahead. Uh, I'm actually a student at UTD. I'm about to head out to New York in a, in a month to do my internship. My question was, I have a month, exams are over, I have a month holiday in between my like, exams ending and internship starting. What are some of the best things you could recommend I could do to get ready for the internship? They send me an onboarding document, but it lists every single technology they use with the resources. No, they haven't assigned me a project yet, so okay. it's like an overview. Yeah, so like I said, for myself, I was, I was freaking out a little bit when I really didn't need to because at that point, you know what you know. I would say the most important thing, obviously, is to just keep coding. It's good that you know exactly what they're using so you could kind of look into that, maybe start building on a project that does use some of the stuff they're using. I don't know, do you have access to anybody on the team to kind of talk to yet, or have you not met anybody? My email right now. Email? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'll say, man, you'll be fine, man. Just continue to code, continue to learn, because they're going to bring you in and let you know what they want you to do, how they do things, and really get you up to speed. Good question. Yeah. No, so they, so they started me off small. Um, I don't know if you guys normally would give a huge feature to an intern. Okay, I, I wouldn't imagine they would. So, so no, it was small features, you know. Things that mattered, things that were important. You know, my code matters, but, but no, nah, it, it wasn't anything crazy. <laughs> yeah, Shay? What was your first PR? My first PR? So we were working on 
So we were broken up into cross-functional teams, and I was on the team that we were doing uh, notifications, email and text notifications. So I can't remember exactly what my first one, but I know we had options to where we could send out notifications every 15 minutes, uh, every hour, and then once a day. So, oh, you brought it up. Oh, <laughs> so this is my first one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so. Adding a pause and unpause, basically you could toggle between pause and an unpause and a notification. That was my very first one. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's why I, I thought it was significant, so. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? So yes, it's actually in the Redux documentation and I know you can't see this, but in the Redux documentation, it's called reducing boilerplate. Boilerplate, and I have the link right here, so I can show you exactly kind of how it looks without switch statements. Blew my mind. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, yeah, Shay. Um, man, huh? I'm like, I don't know how much I can say. Uh, well, uh, with the internship itself, um, man, there's so many things. Like I said, specifically, just some of the different ways that things are set up. But uh, I don't know what all I can say. It's just people like to have fun. I'm gonna just leave it at that. So I was just kind of surprised by, you know. I ain't trying to get in trouble. I want to stay around, so <laughs> uh, we could get. I'll get with you afterwards. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, yeah. How, how long is your internship? I know normally it's ninety days or so. Yeah. So I started March fifth, and I'll be finished July thirty first. Mm -hmm. And uh, so July, I will be actively seeking full time employment. So if any, if you know of anyone that's looking for a front-end developer, uh, I've been working a lot in React and Redux, but if it's a different stack, I'll pick that up as well. So that'll be coming up soon. Uh, so I would love to talk to you afterwards, if that's the case. Anyone else? And I've got references, <laughs> boom. Thank you again, I appreciate it. You can find me at Mighty Joe W online, and there's my LinkedIn. Thank you again, you've been great. <laughs>